Alright guys, hope you're doing well. So, in this video we're going to look at some hair analysis patterns. Specifically we're going to focus on the first four minerals and um, sort of how important they are. We're going to talk a little bit about replacement therapy, which is really popular actually in the hair mineral analysis space, uh, which is f worrying from my perspective and hopefully I'm going to uh, talk about that a little bit more in this video. And uh, we're going to talk about how often hair analysis patterns overrule, you know, individual mineral levels. So uh, let's dive into it. So we're on hairanalysis.report. We've got an example here. But the first thing I want to show you is a couple of screenshots I took um, from a group. Um, and this group clearly, you know, focused quite a lot on replacement theory. So what is replacement theory very quickly? Re replacement theory is basically... If a mineral's low, that means your whole body's low in that mineral, therefore you need to take more of that mineral to increase it, and sort of vice versa. If that mineral's really high, um, that mineral is very high within the body, and we need to lower it. This is a major issue in hair mineral ana analysis, because what you get is, uh, you know, it, it, you can't blame anyone really, but if, when you see a hair, hair mineral analysis chart, and you see calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, you look at that, and you read that at face value. If if sodium's low, potassium's low, then you're going to obviously see. You're going to think that that is the total body load. The biggest issue that practitioners are actually teaching this. Um, I'm not 100% sure where it's kind of coming from. Um, obviously, people are teaching this sort of way of looking at things. Um, I generally find there there are a few people on on face on Amazon and stuff that have got a couple of books out. Um, and they tend to focus more towards replacement theory, which is where this um, where this screenshot was from. I'll just pop it on so you can see. Uh, so and and it's really confusing because that's not ha actually how you should read a hair mineral analysis test. Um, actually, patterns generally overrule, you know, whether something's high or low, um, and. Patterns represent different things in the body, you know. So a very common example, for uh, a very common example, is sort of a potassium level, a really low potassium level of four or below. We call that sympathetic dominance. That's actually an indicator that the person's overusing their fight or flight response. Um, to anyone looking at it from, um, you know, a layman's perspective, you would look at this and and just automatically think. Um, that you need to take potassium. Just seeing if we've got any uh, annotation software we can use. No, we'll skip that for now. So if we read this uh, screenshot, what am I meant to do? My symptoms are getting worse and worse and worse, and it's to the point I'm almost collapsing just going around the store. I drink lots of coconut water every day and add natural salt to everything, and it doesn't ever increase my sodium and potassium on HGMA, sodium potassium here is low. We know we know from the way we've been taught and all of our experience that actually giving someone sodium and potassium, if, if the sodium and potassium is low, is not actually gonna raise them minerals. Sodium's very much uh, cre uh, related to the adrenal glands, so it's actually rebuilding the adrenal glands that often, that, that will actually increase that sodium level. And potassium, that is very much related to the fight or flight response. So it's actually trying to switch that response off, actually raises the uh, potassium level. It's quite tricky. We are looking at actually uh, implementing some custom supplementation to get people out of that specific pattern of sympathetic dominance, usually with high calcium, because it's quite complex. Uh, a person's in fight or flight, but at the same time, their body is in slow oxidation, which is more of a parasympathetic state. So they're in what's called an unhealthy parasympathetic body chemistry. But that's a whole new video. What I want to focus on today is how replacement therapy is not good. Here's another one. HTMA shows typical calcium shell, high calcium, low potassium, low sodium, normal magnesium. I took a potassium tablet and now have calf twitching, cramping and heart twitching. What am I even meant to do anymore? What's really worrying for me is that you look on this Facebook group, um, and I'll, I'll, it's uh, Mo, you know Morley Robbins who te who teaches about you know taking copper and he has this sort of checklist, 
and looks at HTMA. But from my person, in my personal opinion, the people doing the uh, the Molly Robbins protocol really don't understand how to read hair tests on a deep level. That's just my personal opinion. And uh, when I see this, uh, these screenshots and these messages people are typing on various social media platforms, it unfortunately just anchors that in for me. So it's my duty, I think, to try and uh, and uh, speak about it. And I'm quite happy to, uh, you know, uh, speak to anyone that does the root cause protocol who, who is a practitioner who would like to come and tell me uh, why they think that this is this is the way to go. Um, you know, I think a healthy debate is really important. Um, but again, you know, taking potassium tablets or you know a sodium unfortunately is not going to increase increase that um, and clearly it's causing uh, a lot of problems for this particular person all right so uh, a great new feature that we've got on the application is you can edit all of the HTMA report text so now on this section now you can actually see all of the hair analysis text on the report um, and this is going to be particularly helpful for today because we're going to talk about uh, you know the, the first four minerals so uh, like I mentioned often the first four mineral patterns generally overrule the uh, first four mineral um, individual values so I'm just trying to get to uh, first four mineral patterns just give me a second it's around here somewhere there's a lot of stuff on, on here on here Cool, so first four mineral patterns. So as you can see, there's a lot going off here. I'm not gonna be able to go over all of them, but I'm just gonna try and give you a bit of an indicator of um, you know, uh, of what's going off. So, you know, here's one, kidney kidney stress and a retest. So, uh, you know, usually kidney stress is, you know, we can see that on a hair analysis when the potassium level is, is quite elevated. Now, anyone would think, well, the potassium level is elevated, um, I need to reduce potassium, I need to reduce potassium from the diet. That's not actually the case. Uh, usually an increased potassium like this, and it's usually uh, the case on, on a lot of the hair, and mineral anal uh, hair, hair analysis minerals, is that a high, a high level of a certain mineral is usually indi indi indicative of a loss. That's especially the case for a calcium shell, uh, where calcium is really high or off the charts. Um, a lot of practitioners say, oh, don't take calcium, you, 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 you know, you've got too much calcium in the body but in reality the individual is is burning out or burning up too much calcium and that actually needs to be replaced so um, this is where patterns generally sort of overrule um, individual minerals so anyone that's got a kidney stress pattern for example um, will usually be on a fast oxidation supplement that will include some uh, potassium so uh, we've got a three lows here so this is this is more of a burnout indicator, or an, an adrenal stress indicator. Um, a good uh, common three lows pattern would be calcium elevated, um, magnesium, sodium, and potassium is uh, is lowered. Um, but again, if you're into replacement theory, you would just think, well, I need to take magnesium, sodium, and potassium. That will increase towards ideal, and then I need to reduce calcium in the diet. And actually you know the way that we look at it from a pattern perspective is calcium's elevated so um, you know it doesn't really matter whether calcium what levels calcium magnesium are we we always should give people an extra calcium magnesium supplement the reason being is that the body burns up calcium and, and magnesium very very quick it's our sort of stress response minerals one of our stress response minerals uh, same with zinc really if you've got a low calcium and magnesium level on a hair analysis test, that is usually indicative of the fact that you are low, actually, in calcium magnesium within the body, and we should be, uh, you know, we should be giving people uh, some a calcium magnesium supplement. You know, if calcium magnesium is sort of in good range, you know, some people might think, well, actually, it's technically in good range. Well, I, I don't need any calcium magnesium. Well, that's actually not the case. You know, if the body's healing, the body's removing toxins. Uh, we always like to keep that calcium and, ma and magnesium level, you know, topped up and um, uh, and going strong. And um, if the calcium magnesium levels up here, you know, like really high, 
people would think, oh, you know, um, I would need to reduce the calcium level in order to bring that down. A lot of people might think that in a calcium shell, shell for example. When in reality, giving people calcium magnesium is really important because it's actually a sign that the body's burning out of it. Um, and actually, calcium shell is, is a first form mineral pattern. So we would look at a calcium shell and instead of thinking about replacement theory, oh, it's too high, we would actually you know, say to the individual, well, usually this is a trauma tra a response to trauma, um, the body will build up, you know, the body will uh, store sort of toxic calcium. Um, uh, it kind of feels like you're inside of an eggshell. Uh, what we actually need to do is sort of uh, maybe, you know, do some work on trauma, res trauma resolving, um, do some work on healing the adrenal glands and, you know, probably getting a person out of sympathetic dominance. Uh, once that's done, the calcium shell comes down and they've been taking cal a calcium supplement uh, all the way, you know, so that's really common to see. So the three three laws that I was talking about earlier, again, we focus on the pattern. Um, you know, an individual, a replacement theorist would think magnesium, sodium, potassium. That's, you know, although they're, they're important minerals to consume, don't get me wrong, that's not gonna get a person out of that pattern. Usually a person that's in a three low pattern they're burnt out they've usually got sympathetic dominance but not always the you know one of the biggest ways that's going to increase uh, their sodium especially is actually re-nourishing and resting the adrenal glands a person can eat as much salt as they want take as much sodium supplements as they want if they're still running around like a headless chicken for 10 hours a day um or they're you know under extreme stress for whatever reason and their, adre their adrenal glands are just burnt out their sodium level will just not increase on a hair analysis test similar to potassium you can have all you can you can have all of the potassium tablets you want you know drink the coconut water drink this drink that the potassium level is not going to increase on the hair test um, the way to increase that would is mainly to try and shut down the thinking and that can happen through sort of mindfulness it can happen through supplementation um, you know, we are looking into other methods of actually reducing that because it, I'll be honest with you, that is a tricky situation uh, because I mentioned it earlier about the fact that the body's fighting itself. It's sort of wanting to be, wanting to act like a fast oxidizer, but they're in slow oxidation is probably the best way to describe it. You know, the, the car's stuck in the ditch, but the pedal is down, it's on the metal and the wheels are just spinning. It's a tricky situation. So yeah, there's loads of hair analysis patterns. The hair analysis app, app does a really great job, um, in my opinion, of um, of doing that. Let's have a look at if there's any more to be. Uh, so yeah, four low pattern. So a four low pattern is when calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium they're they're all below ideal. Again, giving people calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium is not actually going to get a person out of that situation. In fact, giving um, you know, a lot of a lot of individuals are given stimulatory supplements in a four low pattern. So, like B complex vitamins, for example. Dr. Paulek actually discovered it. it took them quite a while to figure out that giving individuals uh, things like vitamin E, B complex vitamins, um, anything that's stimulatory that you would would expect to give someone in a four in a, in a four low pattern where, where all the minerals are down, we need to sort of you know um, speed the body up logically they actually make a person feel worse and there are some protocols out there that will try and do that they think oh my god the, the, the body's completely um uh, completely malnourished we need to give stimulatory supplements and this and that and vitamin e and all sorts of things that stimulate the body and that's actually not how to get out of it this is a prime example of, of focusing on a pattern so the way actually to get out of four laws is to basically put the adrenal glands, the thyroid gland to bed, so to speak, you know, give a person plenty of calcium and magnesium, um, you know, give a, give a person um, plenty of rest, um, you know, things like lysine can help, taurine can help. Uh, interestingly, you know, kelp is, is kind of classed as a stimulatory supplement for some people, but it does actually help people quite a lot in four laws, so there is a little bit of counterintuitiveness there, but again, it's just focusing on that particular pattern this is what I'm trying to address in this in this video that patterns generally overrule um, individual mineral levels
So, uh, yeah, we've got loads of different patterns on the hair test. Um, you know, come out of four loads into fast oxidation. This is an interesting pattern. You know, when people are in four loads on a retest, they can be in four loads and then they go into fast oxidation. Um, and, you know, when you're working with patterns, when, you, when, you're reading, when you're understanding the art of hair analysis, the first thing that you're going to jump to is, right, this person's come out of fast oxidation. They, they, they will go back into four loads at some point. That's just an observation that's, that's happened over the years, 20, 30, you know, 40 years now. Uh, I think we're going up to, going up to 50 years. Um, and that's an observation. So a skilled practitioner understands that and they can prepare a person for it. A practitioner that's maybe that's focusing on um, on 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 mineral re replacement theory might see an, an individual come from follows into fast oxidation, and they're thinking, oh my, you know, let us reduce the sodium, reduce the potassium, uh, you know, even them out a bit, and then they might be really shocked when the person jumps back into follows and they're like, oh my god, you know, let's try and give this individual. Um, you know, more sodium, more potassium. It's really confusing. Uh, when in reality, there's no need to freak out. You just say to the the person, "Look, we'll give you a full low pattern." You know, you probably have some potassium in your uh, supplementation, even though your potassium's high. Um, and then after a while, the individual will just go back into full lows. That's just what happens. Um, you there's various indicators to understand when a person's gone into full lows. When you work with a practitioner, you understand. When you work with a client, you understand when that's happened, and then you put them on a follow program, and you know, lo and behold, they start feeling better again. They might actually go in and out. They might actually go in and out of fast oxidation. That's just something that the body needs to do sometimes. Follow those fast oxidation. Follow those fast oxidation. Some people are jumping in and out of that, and it just seems to be a healing process that body the body has to go through. Um, in order for the individual to finally come out of four lows into a slow oxidation pattern and uh, you know usually when they come into into a slow oxidation pattern they're much more likely of staying out of four lows than what they would do in a fast oxidizer pattern so this is explaining more about the art of hair mineral analysis about understanding it like a storybook you know it's it's about it's about connecting with the body connecting with the with the emotions a little bit being intuitive is really helpful what being a hair analysis uh, practitioner so yeah coming alive patterns um, yeah there's, there's basically hundreds this is one of the reasons why we built the software hair analysis dot report and it is open to individuals to use it does have a lot of disclaimers the reason why I've opened it up for individuals to use with disclaimers is that I personally think there's a lot of not very good advice out there this is not for every you know there's a lot of amazing practitioners out there but a lot of people will run our reports and they're quite shocked because they've just not given this sort of information before and hopefully by them getting a report like this they can go and seek out um, you know, a, a hair analysis practitioner that's much more suitable. You know, I'm quite uh, open to handing out some people's information. Actually, I'm taking on clients at the moment. Um, you know, we're at, we're we're scaling up things quite a lot. So, um, in order to 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 uh, do what we need to do, um, I am taking on uh, some more clients. And uh, one of the reasons being is that I want to work, I'm work, trying to work a lot more closely with, with clients and trying to build a system that can help retain clients much better than what previous systems have managed to do in the past, um, which is helpful. Uh, this is an interesting here. So, you know, one, one of the things in, with, with, in hair analysis is we have this sort of uh, unfortunate kind of divide. So, you know, we have the trace elements lab and the ARL lab. Trace Elements was set up by Dr. David Watts. Um, ARL was set up by Dr. Paul Eck. And David Watts doesn't use the oxidation rate calculations Paul Eck uses. Um, however, you know, Dr. Wilson, you've probably heard of Dr. Wilson. He's by far written the most content on hair analysis. I've, I've personally used his program to heal and my clients, I find it uh, the best in my experience. But one of the problems is, is you might get a 
uh, trace elements report back so this is a trace elements report and uh, yeah you because of the oxidation rate calculation changes um, a person might be in a quite a severe pattern that we call a step up pattern um, and uh, that person's always in fast, oxida fast oxidation we need to reduce the oxidation rate give people copper um, but Dr. Watts doesn't recognize that pattern and you might be in a slow oxidation pattern if you follow that sort of side of things um, so yeah the app is really good at picking up on, on sort of nuances uh, like that which is I personally think uh, really important this is an interesting pattern a hill pattern so a hill pattern is usually when uh, the minerals go up, up like this on a hill so this really is just more of an indicator of a, of a person turning a corner feeling optimistic you know feeling um, like they've maybe achieved something so again we don't have to freak out about the fact that their magnesium's maybe gone up it's actually a good sign to be honest it's called a getting help pattern where the magnesium increases quite a lot um, the sodium might increase on a hill pattern the potassium will decrease again you know it, you know working with a working with a client it's more talking about how much they feel better you know how much they feel like they've turned turn in a corner there is some research going off at the moment that a very high hill pattern may not mean um, may not mean that the person's really elated so we're actually looking into that uh, which is interesting uh, one of the good things about this software is we can see trends and stuff so you know if you see a lot of people who've got a regular hill pattern and their uh, general information sheets are actually saying that they're feeling positive that's obviously anchoring in the pattern but we are noticing the trend if you got a really high uh, hill it's, it, people generally don't say that they're feeling as positive so that's an interesting thing um, that, we're, that, that we're looking into now on the programme uh, so that's everything, uh, just a sort of video about replacement theory and how it's not a particularly uh, good idea to, to be using. Um, you know, you can look at a hair analysis test on the first four minerals and, you know, see see them as low and, you know, so, so like a four low pattern, for example, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium is, is low, probably low in the body, you know, but what I'm trying to say is, instead of seeing it at face value you need to actually look at the patterns that are related to that and actually realize that yeah they're in a four low pattern but it but in order to get out of that pattern it's not just about giving a person calcium magnesium sodium and potassium potassium it's much more deeper than that so uh, yeah the reports will tell you sort of all of the patterns that the individual's in and uh, it kind of gives you a healing report as well to to help people get out of it so that's everything. Uh, if you do want to start a program, like I said, uh, I am taking on uh, clients at the moment. So if you just type in www.htmapro.com forward slash Lewis Moon and uh, you know, see if any of the options there suit you. And uh, that's everything for this video. So thanks for watching and speak to you soon.